<laughs> ah, TikTok, the app that breeds narcissism like pretty much nothing else. I know I say this a lot, but how is that real? How do you see a mother and a daughter standing there with a sign that says, please help, I lost my job, have five kids, I need help, and go, wow, let me show off my dance moves and be a little bit charitable at the same time. When you sent it to me, it just ruined my entire day. Like a piece of me, I haven't been the same since I saw it. You might as well just done this instead. Different outcome, but same energy. Bro's moving around like he's being controlled with a PlayStation controller. He got the moves like Jagger. <laughs> but speaking of PlayStation controllers, the PlayStation 5 has recently came out, and over the past few weeks, everyone and their grandmother has been going crazy about them, trying to get one. Because there's still not enough PlayStation 5s for the amount of demand it currently has, so essentially everyone's still waiting in line to get one. Which has then led to a bunch of people getting their PlayStation 5s and reselling them for a lot more than what they paid for it. Or you have scalpers who've like literally gotten their hands on a hundred of them sometimes. Like how are scalpers managing to get their hands on more PlayStations than retail stores? Like as you see in this picture, this is an absurd amount of PlayStations to get on your hands if you're not a retail store. But then on the complete flip side, you have, I, I guess, this desperate influencer who so desperately wants attention that he uh, bought a PlayStation just to smash it on TikTok. It is a discondition as if this doesn't prove that cloud is a drug i don't know what does but i found out he made an entire vlog about this because i guess he felt the need to elaborate more on this so uh i thought hey let's suffer together because we've just suffered through his short form content so god knows what his long form content entails no 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 my Wait, 900, mate? I'll give it to you for 900. If you pick up now, 900. Alright, cool. Where's it? Whereabouts do you live? Um, mate. Where's that? Mate. Where's... It's in... Mate. Oh, man. I thought you lived in London, man. Wait, this makes it so much worse. You're telling me he didn't even buy a retail. He went out of his way to find some scalper or a reseller and he paid 900 pounds for a PlayStation 5, which is like $1,100 for something that costs like $450 retail to smash it on the spot. Yeah, but the clout is priceless, baby. I'm at a loss for words. Like, why? Why? <laughs> I still don't understand the flex though, so like, is he just buying a PlayStation so he can smash it, so he can show off that he doesn't care about smashing a PlayStation 5? Is that like the goal here? Like, why didn't he just post an unboxing video, get a bunch of free views, and then just take the PlayStation home and actually use it? No shock value. <laughs> but the shock value didn't even get him views. Like, this, really? this video has 20,000 views, his TikTok has less than 5,000 likes, so um, it's safe to say he wasted his money. Yeah, that's an L my dude, sorry. <laughs> you still selling the PS5? The PS5? Yeah, the PS5. I'm nah. Still... Well, you saw it already. I can't lie, in it. I can't lie. My, my guy already came through, so he's coming to pick up the thing tomorrow. I sell it from, uh, what, a thousand? A thousand? Bro, I'll give you a thousand, a thousand three hundred right now. A thousand three hundred right now. I'll come pick you up. What, right now? Yeah, right now, right now. Okay, you uh, Alright, cool then, cool then, cool, cool, cool. Just as soon as I thought it was bad, it, it gets so much worse. He, he doesn't even pay $900 for this. He pays 1,300 pounds, which is $1,750 for a PlayStation 5 
he's instantly just gonna smash. Where is this dude's parents? Because this kid was clearly dropped on his head a couple times. Why do people think wasting money is such a flex in 2020? What happens to the aspirations of wanting to retire early? Is that dead? Does that not exist? Here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Oh my goodness, uh, apparently uh, retiring early doesn't give you enough uh, attention or simply just buying a PlayStation 5 to enjoy it. That's also just doesn't give you enough attention, I guess. That would just be such wholesome content. Just the caption is, I bought a PlayStation 5 and I'm enjoying it. And it's just someone really happy that they got one. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, guys, finally, about my guy plugs me with the PS5. You know the ones there, like, oh my god, look at it right there. Oh, look. Let me see this B. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god. Bro, I'm gas for No one's got this one. Ah, ah. Honestly, kudos to the seller for simply buying a PlayStation 5 to have this moron come and buy it off of him for more than $1,000 over retail. Back in the hometown, shot for Westwood. Uh, you searching the PS5, innit? You know what I'm saying, innit? Obviously, no one's, no, no one's like me. No one's like me in UK. That's what I'm saying, innit? Original. 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 Bro, you're smashing a console you overpaid $1,000 for. You're not innovating here. You're just bragging to the world how financially irresponsible you are. Well, that's got a new PS5. Huh? I got a controller. Yeah. Okay. What's the PS4 controller? What? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? PS5 slash. No cap. I bet don't smash that. No cap. PS5 slash. Don't do that. Bro, don't do that. Don't do that. No cap. PS5 slash. I'm not smashing this. Are you going to say this? PS5. Hey, what are you going to say? Bro. Hey, I give the things to me, bro. Is it this condition? Is it this condition as well? Look at it. What are you doing? Can I get that? Hey, hey. Here's what's. Slash. 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 Imagine how many more views this video would have gotten if you made a fun competition out of this and had one random person there actually win the PlayStation 5 and make their entire day, even make their entire month, maybe the year. It's not like a lot of people have a PlayStation 5 at that time, or well, even now, and this dude's just smashing it in front of them. Where did he pass? Oh. Where's the pass? No one can do it like you. You simply just smashed a PlayStation, which doesn't require any talent nor skill, just a lack of financial education and a lack of ability to read the room. And this video got 20,000 views, so there's no way he recouped whatever he spent on this PlayStation. There's no way he made $1,750 off of this video. That's impossible. And the irony of all this is he probably went home to sit down and play on a PlayStation 4 after spending $1,750 on a PlayStation 5, but too bad he wanted to smash it for attention instead of just enjoying it himself. This is like Darwinism, but for money. But I guess we gotta treat him fair like all the other TikTok boys i gotta i gotta rate them on the earl scale hey look at that i actually did the earl scale this time it's been a while since i've done it properly so the earl scale if you don't remember we base it off of creativity originality entertainment value virality and impact each category can give you a maximum of 10 points and for this video it's it's probably he's reaching for a new low on the earl scale because uh creativity wise i mean i'll give him a one out of ten originality there was nothing original about this video entertainment I wasn't really like, he, like he's not really an entertaining guy. I feel like you could have smashed it in a more entertaining way rather than just like torment a bunch of people who also want the PlayStation 5 in the middle of Westfield. At least destroy it like in a unique way. Like do like PlayStation 5 versus a thousand foot drop. That That's like a more creative way than going, ah, oh, look, I got a PlayStation. Psych, I don't anymore. And then everyone's like, okay, he doesn't have a PlayStation anymore and they despair. Or he could have done PlayStation 5 versus a million rubber bands. That would have been so cool. But no. It looks like a six, 
believe me, it's zero. Virality. I mean, like, it got 20,000 views. So, so one. You consider something to go viral when it has, like, more than a million views, I think, right? I guess. I don't know. I, I guess that's viral. Impact. This video ha has, like, no impact whatsoever. <laughs> I feel like the largest impact this video had was it made me go, wow, this is so dumb. I feel like I need to talk about this here on my YouTube channel. So, therefore, it impacted me to create a video on it. Thank you for creating content for me to create content around. So, I'll give your, like, two points on impact there. I think Look it had a, a great uh, negative impact, truly, on me, my spirit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one plus one plus two equals uh, four. Uh, fantastic, that, that's his rating on the Earl scale. You failed the Earl scale. What do you need to pass it? Well, it's like a passing grade in America. Is that like 66% or something, or is it? I think uh, 65 and below is failing. Damn, he failed, failed. <laughs> And while we're talking about influencers being dumb with a PlayStation 5, I thought might as well talk about these guys as well. This guy, he ran into Walmart with a PlayStation 5 that he had already bought to then put it on a shelf to, I guess, use it as a prop for TikTok videos. Yo, why did you stop me? Yo, this is okay. Oh, I got the last one. Yo, we met three. Right. We met. Yo, this is mine, bro. Oh, I just mean? set it down for a minute, bro. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Go, 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 go. No, that, that's not. Well, that was clearly staged and he even exposes himself for it being staged by uploading a clip of him getting in trouble by a Walmart employee for this. Yeah, you guys don't have anything to be so though, you know? Yeah, right. That's how you... Bro, we brought it in here. here. Just leave it here, bro. Come on, that bro, bro. we brought it in here. Look on the camera. Yeah, this is ours, man. Go get Sharon. Oh, oh man. my God. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hold on, bro. Bro, this bro, is mine. That's I can't be taking it because it's too fucking expensive. This bro, that's bro, literally that's ours. It, bro. Nah, Seriously, like here. you could check the camera. That's our property. Check the camera when you walked in. <laughs> Yeah, we literally filmed the video. Right. Yeah, I'm not gonna go over there. Don't run like that. I love the audacity of these kids to being so upset with the Walmart employee because he doesn't believe it's their PlayStation 5. Because it's every day someone runs into a Walmart with a brand new PlayStation 5 and uses it as a prop for TikTok videos. Of course he's gonna think it's Walmart's PlayStation. TikTok keeps proving to us over and over again that people will do anything for just a little bit of clout. If you're an aspiring content creator, don't lose your dignity for some clout. Clout is temporary. Your dignity has to last you for the rest of your life. So don't sacrifice it. But drop a like on this video so more people can see it. If you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. It'll be awesome if you subscribed. If you wanna follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me as a Tozy on Instagram or Twitter, or a Tozy was taken on TikTok. Feel free to follow any of those. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Baby, I'm crazy. You know I get so jaded. My mama told me I made it, but I'm still not up on no playlist. And I still hit up on my haters. Everybody else is so faithless. Saying if you hate it, don't play it. But maybe I'm the one that needs changing. But I don't really want change, no. Think I get to where I wanna go.